Hi, I'm Spencer Dale, Chief Economist at BP, and welcome to another episode of Energy Illustrated. If you're new to this, here's what we do. In each episode, I talk briefly about an issue from the world of energy, while Samang and Callum here illustrate the issue to help really bring it to life. Today's topic is the dual challenge facing the global energy system. The world needs more energy, but at the same time, it needs far fewer carbon emissions. Now, the need for fewer emissions is clear, and I hope widely understood. Carbon emissions need to fall sharply over the next 20 years and beyond to avoid the threat of ever more damaging climate change. Around three quarters of man-made greenhouse gases come from the use of energy in one form or another, with much of the remainder stemming from agriculture, industry, and other forms of land use. Within energy, the power sector needs to be the key focus for global policy over the next 20 years or so. It is the single biggest source of carbon emissions for energy use, and it's the sector where policy actions can get the biggest bang for their buck. Central to this will be rapid growth in renewable energy, led by wind and solar power. Shifting away from coal towards natural gas will also be important, since gas produces only around half the carbon emissions of coal when used in the power sector. Now, to put some numbers on that, if the world replaced all the coal used today to generate power with natural gas, that on its own could reduce annual CO2 emissions by as much as five gigatons, roughly equivalent to removing all the CO2 produced by America. Now, that's one half of the dual challenge, the need for fewer emissions. What's perhaps less well understood is the other half, the need for more energy. On current trends, global energy demand is set to grow by around a third over the next 20 years. That's roughly equivalent to the entire energy consumed by China, India and Africa today. A lot more energy. None of this increased consumption is likely to occur in the developed world. Rich, developed countries like the UK or the US have more than enough energy already. Rather, all of the growth in energy demand comes from fast-growing developing countries, as increasing prosperity lifts billions of people out of low incomes. And as that happens, hundreds of millions of families can start to enjoy some of the benefits of energy that many of us take for granted. Access to electricity to light their homes, clean energy to cook their family meals, eventually even owning their first motorbike or car. Without access to more energy, this improvement in global living standards will be held back. Solving the dual challenge, more energy, fewer emissions, is one of the most important challenges of our time. There's no simple solution, but any viable, sustainable path for the global energy system will need to take account of both elements. Hey, Saman Callum, that is really cool. Great job, guys. I really like this. I really like the sort of the more energy as prosperity is growing and the man climbing the hill. On the other side here, the sort of the threat from climate change and the need for fewer emissions and this sort of central role of renewable energy. Really nice job. Well done. I'll be back soon with Samang and Callum to illustrate another key topic from the world of energy.